Hello everyone, welcome back to IB's YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to configure Hive in a Ubuntu operating system. Let's get started. If you are watching for the first time and don't know how to install VirtualBox or Hadoop, please follow the previous videos. Okay, first we need to install Java 8 because Hive only works on Java 8. To check which version of Java 8 is installed, run java space dash version for me i have already installed java 11 so i need to install java 8 to install java 8 just run sudo space apt dash get space install space open jdk dash 8 dash jdk space dash y and wait for some time to install once the installation process is done, we need to modify the java path in Hadoop folder. Go to Hadoop slash etc slash Hadoop destination using the cd command. Then using the nano command, edit the hadoop-env.sh file. After that, scroll down and modify the java path. After that, we have to modify the java home path in bash rc by using nano command and scroll down in java home, change the path to java 8. Once it's done, run the source command on bash rc to validate the paths. Now use the start-all.sh command to start Hadoop cluster and use JPS command to check if the Hadoop node is running properly. Now I am just checking if MapReduce is working or not. And you can see that there are some properties missing. So we need to modify those properties in the mapper-site.xml file. I am just using notepad to modify it. You can find these commands in the description below. Again, go to hadoop slash etc slash hadoop destination folder using the cd command. and use nano command to edit the mapper-site.xml file copy paste the commands into that file and save the file by pressing ctrl plus o then press enter and exit by pressing ctrl plus x after that if i run the mapreduce job again and you can see it's running properly. Now go to a browser, search for Apache Hive, then click on downloads. After that, click on download a release now. After that, click on the first link, then select a Hive version. Here I am selecting Hive 3.1.3 version. After that, right click on the bin file and copy the link. Now go back to the command line prompt and write wget space paste the copied link and press enter. The hive bin file will start to download. Once it's downloaded, we need to unzip it. Type tar space dash xzdev followed by pasting the downloaded file name. You can check if it's unzipped using ls command. Rename the Apache 
hive bin file folder to just hive using mv command. Now go inside the hive folder, then conf folder. Copy the hive-default.xml template file to hive-site.xml file using cp command. Then edit that file using the nano command. Add two properties. You can find these properties in the description below. Now press Ctrl plus W and write hive.metastore.warehouse.dir then press enter. Copy the directory. We have to create the same directory folder in HDFS. Again press Ctrl plus backslash and write uh, 3224. Press enter. And remove the characters in the red from the values. Then save the file by pressing Ctrl plus O. Then press enter and exit by pressing Ctrl plus X. Now we have to write the hive paths in bash rc. For that open bash rc using nano command and copy paste the paths. You can find the paths in the description below and change the paths according to your system. Once it's done, run the source command on bashrc to validate the paths. Now we have to create a folder in HDFS using mkdir. Create the same folder path as well as create a temp folder in HDFS. Then give the access permission to those folder using chmod command. Now inside the conf folder, copy the hive-env.sh template file to hive-env.sh file using cp command. Then edit that file using nano command. Scroll down and uncomment the hadoop underscore home directory and provide the hadoop home directory over here. And save the file by pressing Ctrl plus O then press enter and exit by pressing Ctrl plus X. Now go inside hive slash bean slash lib folder. and remove the guava file using rm command. Open a new command line and go to hadoop slash share slash hadoop slash common slash lib folder. Using the readlink command, copy the path of guava file paste into hive slash lib folder using cp command.
and you see that Guava is updated with the latest Hadoop version. Now again open a new command line. Go to hive slash scripts slash metastore slash upgrade slash derby folder. Then press ls to see the files. Then edit hive dash schema dash 3.1.0 dot derby dot sql file using nano command. Here comment the first two DDL statements using double dash and save the file by pressing ctrl O then press enter then exit by pressing ctrl plus X. Now go inside hive slash bin folder. and write schema tool space dash db type space derby space dash init schema then press enter wait until the script is initialized that's it your hive configuration is complete To access Hive, just write Hive and press enter. Hive will be launched. Press Ctrl C to close it. To get a better visualization with the Hive tables, you can use Beeline command. Just write Beeline space dash u space jdbc semicolon Hive2 semicolon double backslash. Then press enter. Write show databases to see what databases are present. Here a default database already present. You can run HQL commands to create databases. I am just giving you a demo of table creation and inserting some values into it. And you can see when I insert some data, MapReduce is triggered. And there you have it. We have successfully installed Hive on Ubuntu. In the next video, I will show how to integrate Apache Tez into Hive, which is much more faster than MapReduce. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this.